You're all over the Would place. You? No, I'm not. You are. You are because I'm not falling into what you want me to fall into. I don't want you to fall Listen, into anything John, except the truth. Right. There's nothing in the Bible that says John wrote John. So you have no evidence then? Nothing in the Bible. So it's just speculation. There's nothing in the Bible. Yeah. God doesn't want us to know who wrote John. Good. So it's speculation. I'm not about one John, two John, or three John. I want about the gospel. So it's possible John didn't write it. I believe he did, but say he didn't write. Yeah. Okay. So if John didn't write it, who wrote it? Never gonna die. Exactly. You exist forever and ever and ever because you were never created. Or he was never created okay. in the first place. So did did. The word, whom you call Jesus Christ, did the word die? The word, no. The word didn't die. So who died on the cross then? The Son of God, born to Mary. I thought the word was the Son of God. The word was in the body of the Son of God, yeah. The word became flesh. Also, oh, you're separating the word from Jesus Christ. So you think there are two persons within Jesus? I'm That's a heresy. Persons, no. So how many persons? Don't tell me heresy, because then you're going to a church and rulings that a church has made that I'm saying to you, I don't believe in a church. And you you, you can't get away from the church who brought the Bible to you. I, no, no. Who brought the Bible to you? The men of God. And who are they? The men of church? The apostles. They're the men of the church. Come on, you got to admit that. No, no, no. Oh my God. Seriously? They would, they would, don't, don't use more of the word of God in vain. So the canonization of the Bible, do you not believe in that? The canonization of the Bible is just a group of people put yeah. together. What they believe, which I agree with, was... Um, was sent from God. Was so it was what? Was, was through the Spirit. Was um, how do you know it was through the Spirit? I know because it's not in the Bible to canonize your Bible. No, no. So how can you know? The canonization is just decide what could be put in there, wasn't it? No, canonization. Basically, what they did was they, they there were so many gospels. You know, there were not just four gospels. Yeah, there yeah. were many, many gospels. Well. So these people, what they did was they came together in a church and they decided which books should be in the Bible as canonized, has been authoritative from God, and which should be excluded from the Bible. You're totally wrong. Really? Okay, yeah. you explain to me then. Go on. The books of the Bible, Yeah. we talk about the New Testament, aren't we? Yes, we are. The books of the Bible that were basically letters, most of them were letters written to churches. They were sent to these churches and they were often instructed, clearly in one letter, make copies and send them to the other church. We're not talking about the epistles of Paul. We're talking about the Gospels. Yeah, the Gospels, they're still... You do realize there were more than just four Gospels, do you not? I know everything, right? yeah, but you realize... Nobody knows everything, only God knows everything. Like that. Like Say again? That. Like that. Well, you're what do you mean like that? that? Do you not agree that there were more than just four Gospels yeah, at the time before of, canonization? Do you believe that a lot of those Gospels were written after canonization? And before? Yeah. And before? And after? Yes, I'm not saying they were so not, that, but the ones that so were exist... Listen, listen, before canonization, if there were more than, say... I don't know, 100, 100 by, uh, Gospels? There's only one Gospel. No, in the Bible there's more than there's one. Only, no, there's not. Really? Yes. Okay, whose Gospel is that, the one Gospel? There's one Gospel. Good who's who's Gospel? Jesus Christ. Good news. So, how many years after Jesus were, were they written? We're going to stop. Get, let's finish this road. No, because you, you don't realize what you're saying. Half the things, unfortunately. Okay, let's go back to the immortal bit. That's no, fine. No, no, no. <laughs> what? Gospels, right? There's only one Gospel. We have got in our Bible four people's yeah. telling us the gospel. So we've got a gospel according to a gospel according to a gospel according to. But it's still only one gospel. Oh, by the way, why is it according to and not by? Because God never wanted us at the time to be revealed even who wrote them. There's nowhere in the Bible that says Matthew wrote Matthew, Mark wrote Mark, Luke wrote Luke, or John wrote John. Yes, these all there are 27 these, books. These are the four gospels that we have right. that these four people wrote of God's life. Oh, so you actually believe Mark, Matthew, Luke and John wrote those? Of course I do. Oh my God, I don't think you've studied. Can you do one thing? I know you want to act to your crowd. It's here. not about acting. No, it's about you getting Let the history finish. completely wrong. Let me you, look, look, Let me if you don't know, know, if you don't know, say I don't know. Go on. I have listened to lots of discussions here. Yes. And I'm not going to go out of my way to insult your prophet or your book or anything. I'm not going to bring up silly verses. If you want to talk to me about beating wives, I actually believe in what you say about it. I totally believe what I've heard in the Darwin team. It makes common sense to me about it being more of um, just a, a, a way of showing this is the last thing. So I'm not going to jump so, on any... So you have been watching our videos? I know. I Earlier think... you denied it. Oh, please. <laughs> you, you can't bring out all these lies. If we see lies? The man, yeah. The, man the whole idea of the camera is so was, that people who are... Who the man who was stood next to you? I don't know. The Darwin man. Oh, you mean Mansur? Yeah, Mansur. Yeah. The first person I saw, I met him, and I said to him, can I shake your hand? I've seen a lot of you. I've seen all these videos. I said, but I've never been here before. 
and he was stood there and that's when I brought that up to you so if you misunderstood what I said when to a witness of the Dawa team I actually said I've watched all your videos so you've got the totally wrong idea of what I'm saying I'm not treating you like those DCCIs yeah, you're a good gentleman I can see but that said, but what I'm saying to mislead you yes you have you have videos. unfortunately you have no, by saying Godhead when you actually believe in the no. Trinity when no, you actually believe, yes, you believe in the Trinity, you don't like the term Trinity. Correct, and I okay. don't like their description of it. Okay, so your, I asked you very clearly, what is your definition of the Godhead? The you didn't Godhead, want to give it to me. I said, I did, I said the Godhead, yeah. you've got, we've got God Almighty, the Spirit. He's everywhere, created us, whatever. Yeah. And He has revealed Himself in, as the Word and as the Holy Spirit. Okay, as the Word and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So it's the same entity showing himself in three different the holy spirit is 100 god the word is 100 god we we'll say the father is 100 god yes and well, that's what it is. show me in your entire bible where these three manifest as god because you said you don't believe in the church but unfortunately what you just said there is not in the bible okay. that's what i believe but you earlier well, hold on hold on earlier you said i don't believe in the church Hashem. Pardon? Hashem. Hashem. What's I, yours? Andrew. Andrew. I, Andrew, earlier you said I, you don't believe in the church. Hashem, I will come here yes. and debate with you the Trinity and the verses in the Bible that I see what you're going to ask me. But I can't do that today. I said to your other friend who was here. I don't want you to debate the Trinity, I'm but not, well, at least I want you I'm to. I'm not even coming to I, talk to you. You brought me into the conversation, which I don't mind, but I didn't come here like that to be prepared. No, no that's fine. Look, things. look, I, there's I nothing, nothing the personally against you. I ask this question to everyone, as you know. I know you okay, do. so don't take this personally. Okay, but when people start saying Godhead, yes, instead of the Trinity, and then try to define the Godhead exactly what the Trinity is. No, it's to me, okay, what's the difference between the Trinity and the Godhead? Go no, if you tell me word for word. No, because you said, tell me. I'll tell you it's not that. Okay, according to the Trinity, there are three in the in the Trinity: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father is fully God. The Son is fully God. The, uh, the spirit is fully God, just like you said, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. These are not three gods, but one God. Uh, when I've heard people describe before, I think it goes into persons of equal and well, all different. Worlds everyone's got terms. different definitions. Well, that term that, that comes from. Like you. I said, for you, it's semantics. But at the end of the day, you believe the same thing, my friend. Whether you want to call it the Trinity or not, yeah, you believe the same thing. No, I don't believe the Trinity because I don't believe the Trinity. It's in the semantics. Bible. Okay. It's all the that God is. That's all it is. Bible. Call it Godhead. Doesn't matter. Okay. But you still do believe. That when Jesus worshipped God, he only thought that God is only the Father. Do you believe that? When Jesus was teaching his people yeah. and when he was addressing God, according to him, he did not believe that the Godhead is the God. He believes only the Father is God. What do you make of that now? I've got all the information, but to give it to you in a way that I've seen the way that you're going to ask, and I will have to bring this up to show you, I'm not prepared for that. But if you wait to briefly say it, in, in two of the Gospels, mm. it, the very first parable given, which isn't even classed as a parable, in, even in this Bible, this Bible is a very good Bible, as a list of all the parables in Which that. version is that? There's only one Bible. <laughs> which one? There's only one Bible. Which is what? The there's KJV? Is that the KJV? There's only one Bible. Come on, man. You know there's more than one Bible. No, there's only one Bible. Okay, the New International Version? No, no, there's only one Bible. The King James Version? Everything you just said is a translation. There's only one Bible. Also, what language is that in? Huh? What language is it in? What, the Bible? The only one Bible. Well, I disagree with one thing you say. It's in Hebrew, part of the Old Testament is Aramaic, and in Koine Greek or something old, very, very old Greek, more of a slang Greek than the real Greek. So you think the original Bible is in Koine Greek? Yeah. You really believe that? The New Testament, yeah. What, lang what was the language of Jesus? I believe he spoke. I spoke really any language he wanted to speak. But he no, no, don't tell me what you think. Tell me what Jesus spoke. I believe he spoke Greek and Aramaic. Where's the evidence he spoke Greek? Where's the evidence in the Greek? Is because when he was crucified, yeah. the Romans put above um, his cross or alongside his cross the description of what he'd done in his name in the three languages that were used, right. which is Roman, Latin, and Greek. What does that got to do with Jesus? I'm just kidding. Can I finish your question? Sure, sure. You asked well. me where my evidence is. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't live then, so belief. Belief is based on lots of things, isn't it? You know, you yes, your wife yes. loves you. You don't know she does, but you believe she does. I believe this, and this is how I, be how I believe it. So they took the time to write the three, the description of in them three languages, not in Aramaic. The Jews at the time, 200 years before this, because Hebrew wasn't much spoken of in this area, decided to translate the Old Testament into Greek as well, because Greek was like English today. 
I asked you what did Jesus pick. I didn't ask you what was common then. I you why. Now, in the Old Testament, there's at least two occasions when Jesus, even on the cross... Did you say Old Testament? No, New Testament. New Testament. Okay. On the on the cross, everything is given in English. But now, to get a special meaning across, he spoke in Aramaic. Now, the, the only way you'd be getting a special meaning across by speaking those words in Aramaic is if they were different to his normal words. So I believe his normal words, the way he spoke to the disciples that he had at the time, the way he preached to the people in all the different villages, towns. In what language? Era, That's the question. In, in what language? So he spoke to his disciples who were all Hebrew in Greek. Really? Yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes, because that area... So let me ask you this. You know the Buckingham Palace? Outside yeah. the Buckingham Palace, they've got signs in Spanish, in English, in French, in other languages. Does the Queen speak all those languages just because it's a sign outside a palace? Obviously not. I'm not so when, be, you, when you're going to use... I'm look, not going to be listening to that last statement you made comparing today and the multilingual... We no, I'm, ta I'm talking about logic here. It's yeah, not logic. about today and yesterday. Let's, the logic is the same. If, say, if Look, I'll let you speak without interrupting. I'll let you speak without interrupting. On his cross, was there three languages? It doesn't matter. Agree, it doesn't matter. Bible, that there's three languages, even if my Bible's Okay, cross. those three languages were prevalent during his time. I don't dispute that. What I'm saying is that that doesn't show that this is the evidence that Jesus spoke all those three languages. Yes? It is only logical, and most of the historians agree with this, that most likely he spoke to them in their own language because his disciples were not Greek. His disciples were the Jews. And these Jews and their local uh, language was Aramaic. So what I'm saying is this, if Jesus spoke to them in a language which was local, and later on this was translated into Greek, then the original language of the gospel, you said the only gospel of Jesus, cannot be Greek. It is translated into Greek. And today, the only extant manuscripts you have happen to be Greek. Yes. So you assume that he spoke Greek. No, he didn't. You have just turned around and made statements that you can't back up prove in any way. Which is what? What, what, the, what they spoke in that area. What his 12 disciples spoke. Um, I think this is, spoke Hebrew. this is not me. This is the Christian historians. I'm not worried about Christian historians. Oh, who, you don't worry about the church. You don't worry about history. No. Who translated that for you? This version was translated on the word of... Um, King James. Yeah, who uh, translated that? The church? Uh, there was, um, uh, come on. It's 56 people. They were all Greek speakers and scholars. They were from the people. church. Not all the church. They were people. from the church. They were from other places. It doesn't well. matter, from no other churches. Right? Oh. They were brought together. They were separated into all different Maybe you should groups. read the preface of that. King Let's James authorized the church to write this to for Jesus him. Christ. Jesus yes, Christ, God. in that area, Greek was the most widely spread. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was Still there. not his personal language. A pardon? It's not his own language. That that language that he preached to the people in. I believe it was. If the you if you believe you it was, then you have no evidence in the Bible. What you're saying no is from. It was Hebrew. Nobody, you wait a minute. You go by your Bible only. Am I right? Bible, so I'm not yeah. I'm not restricted like you to no, only no. have the standard as the Bible and everything else is insignificant. You see what I mean? Yeah. For you. You need to stick to your principles. So what you have to do is, you have to show me from the Bible that he spoke Greek. There you go. So it's a speculation on your part, my friend. Some of his disciples weren't even Hebrew or Jewish. His disciples? Which yeah, one? Yeah, I can't, I'll can't. i have to get it now. I said, if you're you're going down to the lines, I'm sure one of them was... Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to swear to it. But okay, that's, one of them that's fine, Greek. that's fine. Even if they were not, the fact is that most of his disciples were Hebrew and they used to... Most of them Hebrew, yeah. yeah. Most of the uh, Jewish people and they used to have this local dialect. I don't think they spoke Greek. Yes, maybe they might have spoken some other people. But you know, most of those people, they were not even learned. Peter and John, it says in that, they were unlearned. Exactly. In a Greek now, area. Now, yeah, how, will you, how will you explain the Gospel of John, which is written in perfect Koine Greek? There's no other evidence of any other manuscripts. I believe he spoke Greek. No, wait a minute. Wait. He was a fisherman, unlearned. Yeah, yes? he spoke the local language. So if he didn't know how to write, how, who wrote the Bible for him? Well, you're saying he didn't know how to write. I, where did it say he doesn't know how to write? In, um, in, I'll bring it. It says Peter and John, they were un, un, unlearned. Unlearned. It doesn't mean that they can't speak or write said, the language. It says they were ignorant as well. Yeah, but it still doesn't say he doesn't speak or uh, write the language down. So you're saying if somebody's not learned, they can actually write Shakespeare? I'm not learned. I didn't say can Shakespeare. You write... Why would you tell a lie to try and prove a point? It's not a lie. It's... Shakespeare's oh got to be God. one of the largest things in English literature to study. And you're comparing this to someone who's not learned. I don't think you understand the logic I'm trying to put forward. Nothing a lie. It's, if you listen you're not to me... Learned, listen, does listen. Not, no, you're not controlling everything. If you're not learned, it does not mean you cannot write. Okay. First and foremost, you're getting defensive. I don't know why. 
The reason I ask you, you're if, you're, if you stop and listen, things, maybe and you'll so understand. I'm talking about, you didn't say them words, you're saying that I'm saying things and can't back them up, and you're saying things and you can't okay. back them up. If you listen to me, maybe I'll you'll understand this time. Right. Okay, because you're looking for a reaction. No, okay, no, there's no, no need for that. For yeah, if you get defensive, that's what happens. If someone hasn't been to school, hasn't been to university or college, Hear me out. No, no, I've got to interrupt you. Because you're bringing up serious. Do you think any of those people You know, your problem is you don't want to listen. Do you think any of them went to school? Hear me out. Do you honestly believe hear me any out. of them went to school? Hear me out. Do you believe hear they me went out to and then you'll learn. Yes, if you will wait for an answer, you'll get you, that's a simple First, you need to wait for the speech. answer. Let me finish. You like you Let me finish. School. Let me finish. And then you'll understand. You're very impatient, my friend. I am, yeah. Yes, try to have patience. Okay? If someone hasn't been to school or university or college, do you expect them to have knowledge in English literature like Shakespeare had? Do I? Sorry, no. You were not listening, were you? No. Good. No, did you say? Do you understand the logic now? To, no, I don't understand your logic. Because you're not listening. I am listening. Because you're trying to say that unlearned means they could not uh, write down. You were not listening. I did. You no. Said it, what did no. I say about Shakespeare? You said if, if somebody had not been to school, college and university could be asked to st uh, study uh, Shakespeare. No, he didn't, st he didn't listen. That is my evidence that you are not listening again. Go on, then. If Only someone Shakespeare. didn't go to university, college and they had no knowledge about the grammar, the syntax, the structure of English literature, can they produce a book like Shakespeare? A hundred percent not. Thank you very much. Finally, you understood okay. the logic. Okay. Have you understood the logic now? Yeah, but you, not your logic to go back to Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. now so let Jesus me connect Christ it with Christ that. Wait, wait. John says he's unlearned, you said. Yeah. Right. Does not say he cannot I didn't say John says it's written in the book of Acts somewhere. Okay. Now that you have agreed that no one, can, no one who is unlearned can produce a, a book like Shakespeare's, then you need to connect that with the perfect coin Greek in your Bible to that of this fisherman. Can they... Do you know what Koine Greek is? Yes, it's a language. Yeah, but what is it? It's, a, it's, a ancient, it's an ancient Greek? Greek language. But why do they say Koine and not normal Greek? Because it's not normal Greek. No, there's an ancient Greek and a modern Greek. But why is what's it this Koine Greek? I don't know, you tell me. Is the place called Koine? Koine Greek is... It's, it's people speaking like us now. We speak English, but we're very... We vulgarise it, don't we? We, we? we use our own terms. If you go to all different parts of the country, you'll even go as far down, I don't know, what is it? Pearly kings and queens that say silly things like Apple and pears being stairs. Yeah, right. So Koine Greek was the Greek that the average worker, person in, we say the slums, the normal person in the street spoke. Not the scholars, not the learned people. Koine Greek was that language. It was the language that they used. Oh, you mean the scholars? No, not the scholars. Not the scholars. The Koine Greek was the language of the people of the time. So what was the academic language then? I would say a more refined Greek. Which is? Well, be Greek, but not Koine. Uh, I don't think I believe that. But anyway, okay. here's, a, here's a verse in Acts chapter 4, verse 13. It says, Now when they saw the, bol uh, the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them, and they had been with Jesus. So these people were with Jesus. Pardon? Yes. These people, they were yes, with Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Now people perceive they were ignorant and unlearned because of them being fishermen or whatever that it's is. That verse says that they, knowing them to be unlearned yeah. and unknowledgeable. And ignorant. Were, and ignorant. Yes. Unknowledgeable, ignorant. Let's not be to dance to them. Unlearned and ignorant. Right. Not unknowledgeable. Right. They, I don't think that's knowing them to be that, yeah. were shocked that how they were now speaking differently and that was proof that they were with Jesus Christ. That's what the verse is saying. Speaking differently? Where does it say speaking well, differently? Read the verse and you'll understand it. Oh, okay, oh. it says here, uh, uh, they marveled and they took marveled. knowledge of them and they had been with Jesus. Yes. They marveled because these ignorant people, unlearned, they marveled that they suddenly, well, how this, this person who knows nothing is, is whatever. And now all of a sudden he's speaking these wise words and these wise things. That must be proof of something miraculous happening. And that was because they lived with Jesus Christ and learned okay. from him. First and foremost, let me tell you that just because somebody is unlearned doesn't mean they are not wise. In fact, most of the, most of the ancient people who were wise most of them, I think, were unlearned. They didn't go to school and colleges. I agree with okay. you. I said that from the start. So, yeah, what, I think what you are talking about and what I'm talking about is completely oh, different. I'm no. talking about the writing. You're talking about the wisdom. Two about different things. Thing. You were trying to make out that John couldn't have written what he wrote because he was unlearned 
ignorant, whatever, it didn't go to school. I'm saying to you, there's nothing in the Bible that indicates that John could not write in any way, shape or form. And you're going to the verse in Acts to try and bring up that he couldn't write. Okay, this is not mean he does not write. So what you're saying is that John, who was a fisherman, could write perfect Greek. Quite any Greek, yeah. Where's the evidence for that? We well, wrote John. <laughs> how do you know they wrote John? Because it's in the because the, he didn't say by John. He says according to John. So how do you know? He wrote, how do you know? How do you know John wrote it? Doesn't say according to John. No, I. It says you just said it earlier. It's on camera. It's no, in the I Gospels the according to Mark. Exactly. Yeah. So according but to John, right? It doesn't say in the Bible, does it? Good. So how do you know John wrote it then? How do I know? Yeah. Now, to be honest with you, I said to you at the start of this. There's no reason for us to need to know or to want to know because the Bible given to us by God doesn't tell us. But obviously, at the time these things were written, there were other people that I don't, I'm not going to give strength to what Peter said because man can sin, man can tell lies. How do you know John wrote it? Just answer that. To be 100%, how do I know John? I know that when it was claimed that John wrote it, it, at the time, there's not Who claimed this? There's not one. No, no, who claimed this? There's not one denial of any sort. Who claimed it? Before you say denial or agreement, who claimed John wrote it? The people that I don't know the people I was in life. Is it in the Bible? The Let's people, put it in. No, I said that. Good. So, so by your principle, you, you shouldn't believe historians. I said that. You don't have respect for historians you. or the I church. Listen, you don't. I didn't have respect. I said I don't. You don't, don't believe in say, them. Not as being above God. No. But no, 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 about God. Let's not Come change on. this subject now, right? You're all over the Would place. You? No, I'm not. You are. You are, because I'm not falling into what you want me to fall into. I don't want you to fall Listen, into anything John, except the truth. Right. There's nothing in the Bible that says John wrote John. So you have no evidence then? Nothing in the Bible. So it's just speculation? There's nothing in the Bible. Yeah. God doesn't want us to know who wrote John. Good. So it's speculation. I'm not about one John, two John, or three John. I want about the gospel. So it's possible it's John not. didn't write it? I believe he did, but say he didn't write yeah. Okay. So if John didn't write it, who wrote it? I believe John wrote it. No, where's the evidence for that? I haven't got it. So you're saying it's speculation? Yeah. I don't believe in speculations. No, fair enough. Good.